my uh, next guest, who's sitting right next to me here, known about this uh, contest last night when he was on the set of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You know what I would have done? You would have taken a picture of you checking on the preseason score of the Los Angeles Clippers getting <laughs> waxed by the Golden State Warriors, Clark? Greg? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> okay. It's preseason, 50-point yeah. lead. That can't be true. But I would have had the special effects people at Marvel yes. suture some actual Ram horns oh, to my head. Wow. To win the Fanatics gift card. Because they can not only do that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, they can. They're They'll very it good so at that. that it stays and continues to grow. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But you, you have bought into the Los Angeles Rams hoopla. Who'd have thunk it? You know me, Rich. I'm, well, I know you're a baseball I'm a, I'm guy. I'm a Cager fan. I know, I know you're a big hoops guy. You love the Clippers. I love the Clippers. You're so. a big baseball guy uh, when you're not on the set of Marvel's medium, of Agents medium, of S.H.I.E.L.D. Medium, medium baseball but guy. But you're, now you're, you're locked into How the— How can you not root for the Rams? They're scrappy. <laughs> They're young, scrappy, and hungry. They are. By yeah. the way, that's a, is, that's a Hamilton line I it think is you just dropped right wow. here, by the way. We're giving you the highbrow in the third hour. <laughs> People, um, <laughs> you just dropped a Hamilton lyric on us right they here. They are, though, right? It. Yeah. Who is this guy? They Brian are. Quick. I uh, like this guy. You know what? They are. They are a team that is opportunistic on defense. That they score enough on offense right now. They have a three-game winning streak after being shut out in week one of the season. And now, so are you locked in? Like you're in a way that you haven't been watching football. I can't believe it. I my Sundays are usually very free. Okay. A little pickup basketball, something like that. Mm -hmm. And now I'm actually get, get out of here. I got to find out who this guy Donald is and why he's eating so many quarterbacks. He is. He's one of our MVP candidates for the first quarter of the season. <laughs> is he? Yeah. I'm not he is, surprised. He is a defensive player of the year animal type candidate right yeah, now. Yeah, and I liked seeing I liked seeing Keenum scrambling around all over the place. Have you gone to a game yet? Not yet. My friend Bo Flynn bought season tickets mm -hmm. um, as soon as he's finished doing post on the Baywatch film that he just produced. <laughs> Imagine a Baywatch producer also is interested in football. And uh, then he's going to take me, which is cool. A Baywatch... What does somebody do? Dwayne Johnson, no, amazing I know. cast. I know. I Zac mean... Efron, and some attractive ladies, and the, I'm told. I know, so does that... Is, <laughs> Does the, does the post involve any of that? I mean, in in Baywatch, what does a Baywatch post involve? Oh, you know? you, I don't. You mean you think they're kind of checking the jiggle factor in the slow motion <laughs> Just runs, making sure that it's all I good? I do, but I know Bo, and he's a feminist at heart, so I'm sure there's they're uh. checking they're checking the Zac Efron and the Dwayne Johnson breasts <laughs> the, to make sure that they're also bouncing wow. in the same a, basic ballpark. A feminist on the on the set of Baywatch. Yeah. that's an interesting sp uh, spot to be. But. Sure, anything can happen. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern. Eastern on audience.